the more important issue, and, and we have many rabbi, there were rabbi friends of mine who, you know, who absolutely said that you know, Abe Foxman was out of his mind to, to, to do that. But the more important question <coughs> than the real estate is the need to have a new discourse about Islam in America. The question that was raised by our, our proposed center is how will America engage with Islam domestically and internationally? And I believe that uh, the discourse that happened, uh, what, for, even though the reasons may not have been purely legitimate, or morally legitimate, that is, the outcome, I think, will be positive. <coughs> because we, um, we learned something about who we are. And we learned something about who Muslims are all about. I, um, I remember when I founded the Cordoba Initiative back in 2002, I said our mission would be to achieve a turning point in U.S.-Muslim relations in 10 years. People thought I was smoking something. <laughs> uh, I believe we are now actually experiencing at this extended present in the last year and at this current time the actual turning point in U.S.-Muslim <coughs> relations. Um, and the turning point began with the Obama administration, which, which uh, pushed the discourse on Islam down to his own individual origins and his religious convictions. Barack Hussein Obama was a mantra you heard a lot frequently mentioned, uh, as if there was something wrong about Islam. Um, Colin Powell gave a profound uh, interview, very moving interview, um, during during the uh, during the the Obama campaign, uh, in which he uh, said something very interesting. He said, "Is there anything wrong with being a Muslim in America?" He said, first of all, Obama is not a Muslim. He's mentioned that he's not a Muslim, but the more important question is: Is there something wrong with being a Muslim in America? On what basis? And uh, friends of mine say there's no doubt that uh, the, the important remark made by President Obama a few weeks ago, instead of the union message, when he said that in spite of what terrorists are trying to inspire of acts of terrorism in our, in our shores, we are committed to the rule of law and to the conviction that American Muslims, um, that American Muslims are Americans too. They're part of our American family. I was shocked when I heard him say that. Happily surprised, that is. And I was even more surprised when I saw that statement receive a standing ovation on both sides of the aisle. I said, oh, that's the turning point right there. That's the turning point in U.S. Muslim relations. It means that we're bottomed out, to use, if you use a curve. From now onwards, we still have a long way to go, but I think it's going to improve 